What is up guys? Um, so yeah, this is the long-awaited Blu-ray uh, collection update. So we've gone through December and January um, since the last one I did. So and literally, this is this is a this is a Sports Direct bag, and you know how big they are, um, and it's full to the brim. So um, so this is, includes um, stuff which I got for Christmas. Um, and stuff that should have bought of eBay and just trade ins and just a couple of new releases in there as well. So, anyway, um, I'm not going to blabber too long on about each of them because this would be like an hour video if I do. Um, but anyway, let's just go straight into it. So, the first one I've got here is, uh, <laughs> and it's probably gone into my um, top 10 films of all time, to be honest. I've watched it three times since receiving this as a Christmas present from uh, Annabelle's brother Johnny so thank you very much for this you got me a couple of decent films anyway so this one is uh, This Is England and wow blew me away this film it's, I can't believe I've never seen it before um, I've heard of it and I've heard of the TV series which I'm definitely going to be uh, getting and I've asked for that for uh, my birthday so Dad's probably going to pick me that one up um, <coughs> but yeah Shea Meadows directs this film, and um, it's it's about you know a bunch of skinheads take on this like really like this young kid, and you just see some brutal shit go down. But yeah, it's oh, I I can't even explain to you how good this film is. This is England. If you haven't seen it, definitely, definitely, definitely go and buy it, rent it, watch it wherever. Just go and do it. Awesome. So thanks, Johnny, for this. Um, this is definitely in my top 10 films of all time. So that's This Is England. Okay, another one that uh, that Johnny got me as a Christmas gift. And one that I've known about. And one that I, I have wanted to watch. Um, but never have. And the reason I watched... Uh, went back to, to watch this one is because... Um, I watched Hello High Water recently. And that's directed by David McKenzie. And this was just the film that he'd done before that. And that is Start Up. Um, and uh, it's got Jack O'Connell and Ben um, Middleson, I think his name is, <coughs> who was in uh, Animal Kingdom, and he's in the new Star Wars Rogue One film as well. Um, but Jack O'Connell is an awesome actor. Um, this is one of his like first films that he ever did, after coming off of um, Skins and TV shows that he used to do. Um, but yeah, this is a, a prison drama about a kid who gets starred up, which means he goes to an adult jail, you know, as a young offender. Uh, he gets promoted, I suppose, early. And his dad's in the prison as well. And it's just about how he basically try, tries to make his name for himself without relying on his dad. And But yeah, so if you're into like prison films and stuff, this is definitely an awesome one. Really well directed. Awesome acting by the two lead roles. Um, but yeah, again, thank you, Johnny, for this one. That's Startup. Okay, next one. Um, you've seen that I, I did a Blu-ray hunting video a couple of weeks back and you've seen me by The Shallows and wow um, this really blew me away actually um, or surprised me I suppose um, Blake Lively plays this really likeable gorgeous girl um, who loves surfing and basically ironically she gets uh, bitten by a shark and, uh, and she can't get off so she lives on uh, on a rock yeah, it's really unrealistic, but I was gripped, and um, the character was really likeable. Um, and yeah, you just really wanted to uh, for her to not die. You were rooting for her the whole way through. But anyway, yeah, that, that really, um, yeah, it really surprised me. So that's Shallows. Okay, next up, not the best film, but um, I love the original trilogy, and that's Jason Bourne. Uh, this is one that my mum got me for Christmas. Um, I'm just happy basically to add it to collection. Yeah, it is fun. It is enjoyable. It has its problems. It, is it the best of the Bourne franchise? No, it isn't. Um, but, you know, when I feel in the mood to watch the Bourne films, you know, I'll skip that one we don't talk about and just put this one straight in afterwards. But yeah, it's okay. It's worth watching. So that's Jason Bourne. Okay, another one which I've had for a while, actually. Um, but I've just received it back from a friend, and that is Anna Alicia, um, which is a stop-motion film, 
Um, it's a bit weird. Um, everybody has the same voice in it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's really interesting. It's got some hidden meanings in there. Um, but yeah, it's as a stop motion animate, you know, stop motion picture goes, it is pretty good. Um, but it will. Damn, I really hard to explain. It's good. Put it that way. It's all right. But if you haven't seen it, watch it. Um, even if if it is just for the once. But anyway, that's Animalicia. Okay, next up, which is a film, that came out this year. Um, <clears throat> I didn't watch it in the cinema. I just got it straight this couple of weeks ago, and that's War Dogs with uh, Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. Awesome film. I think it's really actually un underrated. It's a true story. It's uh, the two characters are really likable. They have got great, like great chemistry. Um, yeah, there's a couple of good um, action se sequences in here as well. Some shoots and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's about these these two guys who bid on the the contract to supply the U.S. military with their weaponry, and um, yeah, it's about how they smuggle the guns into like Afghanistan and stuff like that. But yeah, it's really interesting. Um, so that's War Dogs. Okay, uh, next up we've got uh, Crazy Heart, which is um, which got Jeff Bridges in, and he's one of my favourite actors. I love him, The Big Lebowski. I love him in How Hello High Water, recently just come out. Um, and this one, just by like reading the plot, probably you know I'm not a big fan of country music at all or anything like that. But this is actually a really good film. Um, <clears throat> the music in it's actually pretty good, and it's about Jeff Bridges is, is like a really big uh, folk country singer and um he's like an alcoholic now and he basically is going off rails he's just playing in little clubs and stuff and he's skin and then he falls in love with somebody and she has a kid and shit goes down and yeah it's just really interesting so that's crazy heart it's actually really good um got it with a slip cover on ebay for a couple of quid so uh definitely we'll be watching this one soon that's crazy heart Okay, this is um, a film that actually really surprised me and probably my top 15 of the year um, and that's Eddie the Eagle uh, with Hugh Jackman and uh, Taron Egerton. Um, Taron Egerton uh, is the guy who is in Kingsman Secret Service, <coughs> which was a great film from last year. But yeah, this is awesome. I mean, if you don't know Eddie the Eagle, he's the the ski, the only British uh, first British ski jumper um, to go compete at the Olympics. Yes, he came last, but he was such a likeable character and I thought Taron Edgerton played uh, the role really well. And actually, Eddie the Eagle um, is from around where I live. So, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's really easy watch and really funny and really interesting at the same time. So, yeah, that's Eddie the Eagle. Okay, another one I got from CX in December. Um... And it's uh, Richard Linklater's uh, follow-up from Dazed and Confused, and that is uh, Everybody Wants Some. Yeah, like, this is just a fun movie, fun high school movie, or college movie, I should say. You, you just follow these guys about um, on the lead-up to their school term starting. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a, it's a feel-good movie, some good laughs, and yeah, it's just awesome. Got the slipcover, so I'm happy. That's um, everybody wants some. Okay, next up is um, an awesome film from this year, and just some absolute silly comedy, and that is Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping, um, with uh, the the lonely the Lonely Island guys, <laughs> and yeah, it is just insanely stupid but hilarious at the same time. Um, and the, you know, it has some pretty original music in it as well. Um, I think one of the songs was like, I fucked you like I f the US government fucked Bin Laden or something like that. It was, yeah, it was funny. But anyway, that's Popstar Never Stop Stopping. If you want just a, a bunch of laughs and an easy watch, stick this one in. Okay, next up, um, probably... My second favourite animation that came out this year, and that is uh, Finding Dory. E Finding Nemo is awesome. Finding Dory was even better, in my opinion. Love the way they took it to the aquarium. The new characters, Hank the octopus, and um, 
the sea lions were awesome. Um, but yeah, just a. I mean, you can't go wrong with Pixar films, and this one just delivered again. So that's Finding Dory. Okay, another one. I got this one um, before Christmas. In the lead up to Christmas, I thought it'd be nice for Star to watch Frozen. Um, I'm not a massive lover of this film, but um, it was cheap on eBay. The 3D copy with the slipcover, and Star really enjoyed the music. She was dancing around, and it was all yay, happy for Christmas. It is decent, you know, it's really well received Disney movie. Every kid around the world loves Frozen and knows Ella and Elsa and knows all the songs. So, yeah, I suppose I had to add it to the collection. So that's Frozen. Okay, another film which um, was completely ignored this year and s overlooked. Um, and this came out two weeks ago, and it was £10 brand new. Um, and that's Hunt for the Wilder People. And it's uh, a film, a New Zealand film, about um, a kid who's like, he's gone through the foster care system and then he goes to live with his auntie and uncle, so say, and um, his auntie dies and they run off into the the outback, not the outback, sorry, what do they call it? You know, into the forest and they're on the run, basically. There's like a, a, a big uh, thing on the, on the news and like, to try to find these guys but it's hilarious so yeah definitely check that one out that's Hunt for the Wilder People <clears throat> okay one I got for Christmas that's Home Alone 1 and 2 don't really need to say anything about these it's a double pack it's got two films in it the only two you need we did watch these on the lead up to Christmas and probably the best Christmas films ever made so that is Home Alone okay another Christmas film that I did get and that this I got this for a quid on eBay after Christmas with the slip cover. a quid like literally a quid, no poster to packaging, just a quid. So, um, yeah, I was happy that it's a really good animated uh film for Christmas, and we did watch it a couple of times. So, that's after Christmas. Okay, this is my favorite film of 2016, and that is Captain Fantastic. If you haven't seen this, go and see it, it is awesome. It's got uh Vigo Morrison, who's just been nominated for an actor. Uh, nominated for best actor at the Oscars, um, but he is awesome. It's about he's the dad, and um, he's got like six kids, and they live in the in the in the forest, um, and they don't go to school. He homeschools them. He basically gives this gives them this this alternate um, education, I suppose. Gives them all weapons, and they hunt, and they play music, they read books, and. It's just awesome. I love that kind of stuff. Um, and their mum dies, and um, <clears throat> their grandfather says that they can't go to the funeral. And this is such a t touching story. Like I, I did actually cry in this film, which is unusual for me. But it's just all. It's just it's a roller coaster ride of ups and downs. Like you, you'd be smiling, dancing at one minute, and the next minute you'd be like so emotionally crying, and thinking, "Oh my god." But yeah, this really touched me and it was my favourite film of last year. So that is Captain Fantastic. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. it it's not talked about loads. Hopefully it gets a little bit more more recognition now that Vigo's been nominated for an Oscar. Um, but it's so, it, just check it out. Captain Fantastic. Okay, one I picked up uh, in the supermarket a couple of days ago and that's Kubo and the Two Strings. I watched this last night and yeah, it's awesome. The stop animation is beautiful. It's a magical story. The voice acting from Matthew McConaughey and uh, Charlize Theron and Rooney Mara are awesome. Um, it's yeah, it's just a really like it's a feel good good film. This is the first um, film that I've seen from Leica actually. Um, I need to check out the others: Box Trolls, Coraline, Paranorman. I haven't seen any of those, so this is the first one. But anyway, it's a really good. Uh, Really good animated film of the year, so that's Cuba and Two Strings. <clears throat> okay, next up, I'm going to try and... I'm not even half it through yet, so... Uh, next one is Kingpin. This is um, a Region A locked Blu-ray. Got it from the States. But Johnny said this is one of his favourite films, so... And, and I actually have seen it when I was younger, um, but I wanted to revisit it, so... I've seen that they had this on um, Amazon. Um, yeah, and it's really... 
for laughs, really quotable. Um, Woody Harlison and Bill Murray are awesome. And yeah, it's just a fun movie. So that's Kingpin. Okay, uh, next up is Green Room with the slipcover. This is an underrated film of last year as well. Not not too many people have seen it. I'm not into horrors and films like that, really. Um, but this one was just like really thrilling. I was on the edge of my seat. And, um, you know, Anton Yalchin, rest in peace. This was his last film, and it was awesome. So that's Green Room. Okay, Suicide Squad. Do I talk about it or not? I've watched the extended cut. <sighs> didn't really add much to the movie. I enjoyed the movie, don't get me wrong. I didn't like the villain. It had some issues. Um, but this was like my most anticipated film of last year and it didn't really live up. But anyway, that's Suicide Squad. Okay, this is um, this is a really weird film, The Lobster. I don't really want to talk about it because I'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> but it's... Um, Basically, in society, you have to find love, so say, in this film. And you get sent to this hotel and you have 40 days to find love. Otherwise, you turn into an animal, basically. <laughs> um, and the, there's so much I can talk about with this film. I could probably do a whole video on this. Um, but it's really an original story. Um, you need to really be uh, concentrating watching it and pick up all the little things in the film when it comes to the end you understand what was going on but yeah the lobster um probably needs another rewatch to completely understand it but yeah um colin farrell was awesome in this it's just really simple like the only thing that annoyed me was a score it was like the same music all the way through um but i suppose that was had some kind of meaning to the film if you get what I mean, but anyway, that's Lobster. Okay, this is in my top ten films of all of no, of the year, and that's Sing Street. Some awesome music in this film. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. About this kid who likes this girl, and he makes a band to impress her, basically. And oh, just watch it, Sing Street. Okay, uh, I have got another Criterion, and that is The Squid and the Whale. Um, yeah, I, I love um, I like Jesse Eisenberg. That's the reason um, I was drawn to this one. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good film uh, about breakups, uh, parent breakups and stuff like that. But yeah, Squid and Whale. Uh, this one's going back to my childhood. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Um, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, great action flick, some awesome comedy, and it's just like childhood gold for me so that's bad boys okay i've spoken about this a couple of times already in this video hello high water awesome film flipping awesome uh like say david mckenzie um directed this director startup and the writer same writer as um sicario as well um kept jeff bridges is awesome chris pine with an awesome surprise performance and ben foster was magnificent as well but it's like a heist um I was going to say it's like a western like a modern western heist movie so if you like those kind of stuff it's nothing it's nothing new and original that like we haven't really seen before but it was perfectly executed um yeah and awesome so that's uh hello high water okay another one i got for christmas i like the first film haven't seen this one yet but that's now you see me too um just one that my mum gave you know got me she doesn't know whether i have it or haven't but i didn't have it so but i haven't watched it yet so whether it's any different to the first one or not, I do not know. So I cannot comment, but that's now you see me too. Okay, when I picked up of Amazon the other day, and I was surprised when I opened it, I got it with a slip cover, and that is Fruitvale Station. i really excited to watch this one. I like Michael B. Jordan. Um, I think he was awesome in Creed. I know this is a true story. I've not read anything on it, because I want this one to surprise me. Um... So yeah, that's Fruitvale Station, so hopefully I'm going to be checking this one out soon. Let me know what guys think of this if you've seen it. Okay, uh, this is um, one that you've seen on um, my Blu-ray hunting video, Scum. I did start watching the first half an hour of this. Um, it's just, I don't really know what to think so far. Um, I've probably not got 
got f as far through to see all the, the, the violence and stuff, yeah. Um, but it's a young Ray Winston. I watched Sexy Beast the other night, and he was in there, and that was good. Um, but yeah, Scum. I don't know. Let me guys know if you've seen this one. Okay. Rock and Roller. Um, is this a guy? Yeah, it is a Guy Ritchie film. So, like, Snatch and um, Lock Stock are, you know, two of my favourite films. And I hadn't seen Rock and Roller, so I got this for, like, pound fifty at CEX. So I'll be watching this one soon. So that's Rock and Roller. Okay. Region A Blu-ray of Juno. I have the DVD. Um, I recently had a problem with my um, Region 3 player where a, a disc that I got didn't play on it. So, although all my other ones did. So um, I just bought, this was a quid. So I, I literally only just bought it to test my player out, see if it was working properly. Um, but all the same, it's a good film. So that's Juno. Sausage Party. Uh, how far are we through? 21 minutes. Uh, Sausage Party. Um, took me a couple of minutes to get used to this kind of animated meat fest. <laughs> um, lots, you know, seeing like these supermarket food, swearing and talking dirty and stuff. And hearing like Seth Rogen as a sausage really like threw me in the beginning. Um, but God, this is hilarious. This is that sausage party. God, I'm coming down on you. Right, what have we got? Let's get a couple out. Okay, uh, Money Monster with George Clooney and um, Jack O'Connell and directed by Jodie Foster. Um, yeah, it's okay. Will I watch it again? Probably not. Um, it's worth a watch, definitely worth a, a, a one-time watch. Uh, Jack O'Connell, you know, is awesome in it. George Clooney, I'm not a massive fan of it. Like, a couple of his films are good, but he's um, hit and miss for me as an actor. Uh, but yeah, it was a bit on your on your edge of your seat, but not too much. So that's Money Monster. Um, okay, one I haven't seen is The Master. It's a Paul Thomas Anderson film. I love Paul Thomas Anderson at the moment. Um, so I'm just getting to his film and also uh, Joaquin Phoenix is in this and Philip Seymour Hoffman so yeah I'll definitely be checking this one out soon <clears throat> okay another one that Johnny got me for Christmas and that's 28 Days Later um, dubbed probably the best uh, zombie movie of all time I don't know, I haven't seen it um, so let me guys know what you think of this one <clears throat> okay uh, another Joaquin Phoenix film and that's Walk the Line um, I bought this one off the cuff of watching Crazy Heart. Um, I suppose they're two similar films. This is a biopic about Johnny Cash. So, and I've heard that Joaquin Phoenix is really good in this. So yeah, I'll give it a watch and if I don't like it, I can always trade it in. Let's walk the line. Okay, this is um, the Planet Earth collection set so it's got the original series of planet earth and the new planet earth 2 which was just recently on bbc one um so david attenborough narrates and he is awesome that the stuff you see the, the footage that they get for these programs is unreal and at the end of each episode they do like a diary of and you can see where how they you know track these animals down and, and and the different cameras and different technologies that they use nowadays and it's just really interesting but fuck me, yeah. Um, Planet Earth 2 is awesome. I've seen a couple of the first ones on TV, but never checked them all out. So, yeah, it's just a, it's a good program to sit down and watch all together. So, that's Planet Earth. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, and today, I did some hunting. So, I picked up Don't Breathe, um, which is um, a new thriller horror film I say I'm not really into those kind of films but this one um it's got really well reviewed uh, is really well well reviewed and um yeah I'm just excited to check this one out the trailers are awesome for it so that's don't breathe <clears throat> um I've got Tom Hanks is big which um is one of his earlier films I'd have no idea what it's about but it's a classic so say so that's um big um we've got Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. This one, Best Picture. I haven't seen it. Um, so I'm going to try and watch a 
couple of best picture winners on the lead up to the Oscars, which is the end of February. Um, so yeah, that's Rain Man. Uh, another classic, so say, which I haven't seen, is The Breakfast Club. Um, this 30th anniversary edition. So try and check that one out soon as well. And last, I think, but not least, is um, a film which I got for 99 which was half price with any purchase in HMV, and that is The Titanic. Um, with the slipcover. And one that I didn't have in the collection, and this is a classic, so... Yeah, anyway guys, that is all of the films that I've collected over um, December and January. Um, I've got my Deadpool t-shirt on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me, go, let, me, let me know what you thought of my pickups for this month. And um, give us a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. And also, just before I go, I'm on Letterboxd now, um, which is a site where you can log and um, keep track of your movies and you can follow people and people can follow you vice versa you can rate review different films so um, if you follow me on blu-ray josh um, i'll follow you back and we can have some fun chatting about movies so anyway thanks for watching guys take care and i'll see you very soon cheers <laughs>